You know, there's something I've noticed about people that want to learn another language. Usually, the first thing they want to do is learn some of the most common phrases in that language. Because if you learn those common phrases, those are going to be phrases that you can actually use in public. So in today's class, I'm going to be teaching you some very common American English phrases that I personally like using. And these are phrases that you're going to hear other people say. So now when you hear them say it, you're going to know what they're talking about because you watched this video. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to get right into it. It's time to have some fun. This is English only 101. I'm full. I ate too much. I'm full. I ate too much. I'm full. Full. I'm full. I ate too much. We say the word full to mean what it sounds like. We're full of food. When you eat too much food, your stomach gets big and it's full. It can't hold any more. So you say, I'm full. I ate too much. And look at the word eight. Eight. It sounds like the number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it's not that word. It sounds just like it though. Eight. This is the past tense word for eat. Eat eight. Eat eight. I ate too much. How's the weather? How's the weather? How's the weather? Weather. How's is the contraction for how is. How is the weather? But instead of saying how is the weather, you say how's. How's the weather? Not house. Not like a house you live in. How's. How's the weather? Drop it, okay? Drop it. I said drop it. Drop it. Drop it, literally, it means to drop something. If you're holding something in your hand and you drop it, drop it. But that's not what we mean here. What we mean here is to stop talking about it. Stop talking about it. Drop it. Maybe somebody, your friend, is talking about something that you don't want to talk about anymore. It's hurting your feelings or it's making you mad or it's stressing you out. You say, drop it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Drop it. Drop it. So, um, would you like to go out on a date with me? Would you like to go out on a date with me? Would you like to go out on a date with me? It's kind of hard to say when you say it really fast, but I don't recommend saying it fast at first. Practice saying it slow. Would you like to go out on a date with me? If you can figure out how to say the words together, then saying it fast isn't that hard. But if you just try to say it fast right now, would you like to go out on a date with me? It's, you're not gonna be able to do it. You need to first figure out how to say it slow. So let's do it one more time. Would you like, would you like to go out, to go out, on a date, on a date with me? Would you like to go out on a date with me? Ooh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. I thought you were someone else. My bad, I'm sorry, my apologies. I thought you were someone else. I thought, I thought you were someone else. Someone else. I thought you were someone else. How many of you have saw somebody that you know, you run up to them, you tap them on the shoulder, hey man, what's going on? And they turn around and it's not the person you thought it was. And then it's a, oh, it happens to me all the time. So if it does happen again, they turn around, it's not the person you thought it was. You say, I thought you were someone else. You can say, I'm sorry. My apologies, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Let's order a pizza. That sounds good. Let's order a pizza. I'm hungry. Let's order a pizza. Let's order order a pizza. 
Let's, of course, is the contraction for let us. Let us order a pizza. But nobody talks like that. Nobody says, let us order a pizza. You say, let's. Let's order a pizza. Order is kind of hard to say with your tongue, but again, practice saying it slowly. Or, there's an R in there. You hear that? Or, der. Order. Order. Let's order a pizza. Hey, hold on. Look both ways. Okay, let's go. Look both ways. Look both ways. Look both ways. This is something you say when you're crossing the street. When you have little kids with you and you're walking across the street, you don't wanna just walk straight across the street because what if there's a car coming from this way and you get hit? You say, hey, hold on, hold on. Look both ways. Why? Because safety, that's why. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. Get off means to stop doing something. Get off. If you were standing on something, you're standing on a couch, and somebody said, get off, you would get off. Same thing with a phone. If you're on a phone, this is on, you're on it, right? You're on the phone, and somebody says, get off your phone, you get off of your phone. You stop messing with your phone. Stop texting. We're eating dinner right now. Get off your phone. Would you like an appetizer? Would you like an appetizer? Would you like an appetizer? Appetizer? Appetizer. Appetizer. Would you like an appetizer? You're gonna hear this no matter what restaurant you go to, if you go eat at an American restaurant or a Mexican restaurant, or it doesn't matter what kind of restaurant it is. If it's a restaurant that you order food from, usually the waitress will always ask, would you like an appetizer? That's the food that comes before your main food. So yes, we would like an appetizer, please. I'd like to get some cheese sticks. What's your zip code? What's your zip code? What's your zip code? code. What's is the contraction for what is. What is your zip code? What's your zip code? Zip code is postal code. It's your postal code. It's the five digit number that shows people what area you live in. If you're somewhere in California, your zip code may be 90210 or 90201. And usually wherever you go, to pay your electric bill, to pay your furniture bill, to pay your internet bill, to pay your water bill, or you're signing up for a gym membership, or wherever you go, usually when you're signing up for something, they ask for your name, your email address, what city and state you live in, and they always ask, what's your zip code? You need to know that. That is it for today's phrases. How did you do? How are you feeling? Can you pronounce any of the things that I just showed you? Are you getting the hang of it? Comment down below, let me know which one of these phrases you are gonna start using more often. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a big like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to it yet. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.